fiber of your body. Oh, no, no. Is it on? It's on. There are the valves. Look where you find me at the beginning of the vlog, not in bed or editing a video. A fuel station, which is um, probably the second most likely place that you'll find me in the morning, other than bed editing a video. However, I finished all of my video editing for the videos that have gone live yesterday. See how much this messes with my head. And today is beautiful, it's 17 degrees, it's half past 11, and I'm en route to Gad Tuning. And they have got a brand new facility. Do you remember when I went there um, a couple of months ago for the Gad Tuning Challenge, driving from London to Lyon on one tank of fuel, which I epically failed on the way down to Monaco. And I'm heading down there purely to document, film, and create a vlog. Um, so I'm heading over to Essex now, which seems quite a long way to go to um, do a daily vlog, but if I wasn't there, then I'd just be sitting around, probably talking to you about my second supercar and depreciation and mileage. <laughs> Just about to get onto the motorway, and I think this is going to be the perfect chance to introduce the wonder product that is behind my phone, suctioning it to the windscreen so that I can record without using my hands, which unfortunately, whilst I had the smart car, was what the only thing that I was able to do. I didn't have a suction mount for my phone, and you probably know that I use my iPhone 6 to, f to do these vlogs. The suction cup that I've got behind is a Montar car mount, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you guys can go and smash that link and head over and get one of them, because if you're either thinking about vlogging, you just want to hold your phone up here, you can use a sat nav, or you can just, I don't know, I was about to say FaceTime, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Whatever it is, I mean, this is the most sturdiest product that I've ever had in the car. And I was talking to Car Throttle, and they have one as well in the office, and they were having the same problem as me with the product. It's not a problem, it's a fantastic uh, aspect to it. It's impossible <laughs> to get off, it's that suctiony is that sticky and that powerful that it's so sturdy I've been using the Montar car mount throughout the RS3 reviews you would have seen and I'm going to play a few clips now of some of the times that I've been thrashing that car and you wouldn't even be able to tell that that is a suction cup holding my phone check this out <laughs> We've made it to the new unit. There's my car. It's the Gad Tuning C-Class, and inside they've got some pretty cool stuff that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. And right on cue, right on cue, he arrives. In style. So Jonathan's Maserati is now in getting a quick wash over because these are going black. It's being de-chromed. You'll be able to see down here as well. That's all going, and it's going to look awesome. And then Gad Anthony, you've seen before, is going to be working his magic on the car as well. So hello again. We're excited to the daily vlogs. We're excited. <laughs> We're very excited. It's looking good. Like I said, it'll be like a 400 mile an hour car. 400. The Four, first 400, 400 mile, mile, mile an hour in the world. car. All you got to do is dechrome it, lads. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? So this is it, as you can see here. You can unscrew this, which means that the uh, ball point will move really freely. You can set whatever angle you want it to. If you want to have your phone like that, give me two seconds and I will get my phone out. If you want to have it holding like that, you can have that. Or if you want to flick it, you can have it like that. And it just is a really, really cool touch. Like most suction cups, you flick it down. 
and then dig your finger underneath here and then it comes off and the cool thing with this is of course most suction cups get a little bit dirty and get dust and stuff which makes it difficult to stick you just go like that suction it up like that and then it will stick hold and then all you do like that is zoom it up but the cool thing with this is all it takes is hot water all it takes is hot water to give this a quick wipe and then it is pretty much back to normal right i'm just mucking around and setting up my montage on the carbon side bed i'm going to fit my phone in here and try do a time lapse might actually give mine a quick wash and a quick shine i actually got bored from cleaning my car i did a door there we go Oh, um, uh, were you on the thing? Yeah, I think I was on the screen. Oh, we don't, didn't get any of that? No, we've got none of it. We've got none of it. You've no idea what you just missed. It was amazing. <laughs> now, I know that's a big, long, straight road. Oh, there are everything, speed bumps. Every fibre of your body. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Stay out of here. It's like one of those rides where you, just, you don't know when it's going to go. You just like... It, no, you, no, no. you know it's going to go at some point. <laughs> you know it's going to go. <laughs> Down here, getting Jonathan's wrap done. No, D-Chrome on the Maserati, and Jordan has arrived from Diversity. Hey, what's up, people? Bringing this insane-looking Audi TT, <laughs> military green with reflective brake calipers. Talk me through the car. Yes, yeah, so um, do a full Top Gear review. A full Top Gear review. <laughs> okay, I'm, not, I'm, I'm very bad at Top Gear. Right, here we go. So, uh, big Audi fan, love the TT. Heard about the new TT. And uh, I know I bring it down to the main man Dan at Dub Customs, <laughs> and he uh, he's pulled this off for me. So yeah, I went. Um, I was gonna go satin black, and I was like, oh, no, I want to do something different, and I landed on a matte camo green. And then uh, Dan was talking about the reflective uh, calipers. I went yellow on that. This is what we've ended up with. So this is the reflective brake caliper. Let's get closer. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Finishes off, you would never think yellow brake calipers on a <laughs> military know, green right? car. And then it's Alcantara inserts with the virtual cockpit as well. It's pretty much, is it S Tronic as well? S Tronic. S Tronic. Yeah, let's go S Tronic. Because I drove a manual one and I was like, it needs to be the S Tronic yeah, gearbox. Right. <laughs> Look how angry this looks from the front. We brought it out into the daylight. The map, military green TT. Reflective yellow brake colour, this looks awesome. Do you want to have a rev battle, Jordan? Do you want to have a rev battle? Oh, gee, I'm coming in. <laughs> Let's embarrass, Let's embarrass me. Right, here we go. Rev battle. Yeah. Yep. Do it. But it, it's on a rev limiter, isn't it? It's when it's in, limiter, the, yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's it's the, why. The rev limiter and uh, the, uh, it's it's the, the iPhone doesn't like TTs. Yeah. It's all, it's all, it's all. Is that it's too loud. It's too loud. It's too loud. So they put the problem. They put yeah. the rev limiter on at yeah. four and a half because then the valves open and it just exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. That's that's the problem. And yeah. then what happens is Army Tricks paid Apple for the mic to go really well. <laughs> that exhaust. Yeah. And that's why it sounds so sick. It sounds like, <laughs> don't worry about it. There are the valves. <laughs> Look at this thing. Beautiful. <laughs> We're working into the evening. <laughs> and Jonathan's taking it upon him to get his car ready. <laughs> He's prepping his own car. <laughs> So it's come to you. <laughs> Tint's looking awesome. D chrome. Left the trident in chrome though. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have tried in chrome. Black door handle, black around the windows, which are getting tinted at the moment. So finally, the D chrome and tinting is done. And we've still got the Mansory S63 Beast. Bentley, this picture has kind of gone like viral on Twitter. Billionaires, at billionaires on Twitter shared it obviously they didn't tag me because they never tag anyone i've had my picture shared by them a couple of times there's my car and uh, a bit of the mafia going on out here uh, looks awesome and i'm just waiting for jonathan to drag the maserati out so that we can see it in the daylight that we have left not much of it because as you can see the sun is going down over there but what a long but fantastic day it's been here the maserati's been dechromed it's been tinted 
looks amazing. Let's get outside and see the fun. Here it comes. Front grill. Mean. Looks newer now. Isn't it? It's a lot newer, yeah. Yeah. I'm very happy. <laughs> it looks mean. Because I'm such a nice person, I was like, I need to be surrounded by meanness just to sh because I'm so nice. You need that aggression. Side, I do. So I you're do. bringing it out in exactly. the car. Exactly. Exactly. Perfect. This is awesome. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. No, this is the Sikoni Jolie look. The Sikoni so, Jolie wagon. Yeah. <laughs> Family wagon. <laughs> Family wagon, yeah. <laughs> Finally, heading back home after a fantastic day. What a, just, well, I've just said it, what a fantastic day. I now have to kind of concentrate on where I'm heading home to work out getting back onto the M25. Great to see Jonathan. Brilliant to see his car get de-chromed and tinted. And the guys at Dub Customs looks awesome now on the road. Really, really super stealth. And unfortunately, the GAD tuning couldn't get his stuff done it's quarter to nine, so it's pretty late. We've been here for the nine hours. Awesome to meet Jordan from Diversity as well. Loved his car, and hopefully we can do some videos in the near future on uh, his car, my car, whatever it is, it'd be good to get him on camera. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been a lot of fun to film and head over to Essex to see GAD Tuning, Dub Customs. And um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed coming along on the journey as well. Remember, link in the description about the Montar car mount. It is a huge lifesaver for me. So head over, smash the link. You've been awesome, guys. Thank you for the support. I'm stuck at a red light. Put the valves on. Turn the traction control off. But thanks for watching guys make sure that you subscribe if you haven't um, and if you haven't wanted to subscribe until now when the lights go green hopefully this will make you want to subscribe oh, I may have left some tires tire marks <laughs> that the green coupe from uh, Bentley Edinburgh I think it was has gone as well so the most so there's two LP640s for sale there's this one which is stupidly priced with a stupid body kit